And magazines do a fantastic job currently of sparking consumption by individuals. We write about trips uh, to take, restaurants to visit, clothes to buy. Uh, I think what you're going to find is content companies are going to move into commerce. They trust us for those recommendations, and I think we have to find the proper ways, again, to monetize that. And so you can imagine the day that 20 or 25 percent of our circulation can be in tablet form, and you see the beautiful men's suit from Xenia available to Saks Fifth Avenue. It's a service to the reader that they can just click on that and to be able to buy it. Or you think of one of the great rooms that are presented in House Beautiful or Grand or El Decor, and imagine as a service to the reader, they don't have to hunt all over to buy the lamp, buy the rug, that they could basically buy it right from the page. And I, I think it's a significant opportunity, and our consumers trust us, and they want to be able to get that information more easily. Here's a brand that's very traditional, uh, you know, belongs to, like I said, a relatively small uh, publishing company in New York City uh, that managed to, in my mind, reinvent itself or take advantage of uh, the technology that uh, and the kind of uh, content interaction you can have online and is reviving, is thriving its brand in a, in a direction that they couldn't do in print. And it works very well together. It's a very, very good example. The, in a new world, though, the ability to move from advice to execution in a seamless and rapid way, and to then, in, in activity, be able to see what's going on and adapt to change becomes actually critical. Because you That's slightly different, but digital cinema generally, yeah, yeah, I think from a big movie perspective, actually has a little <coughs> bit of exposure, right? While our costs go down, the shelf space that's in that exhibitor is no longer 100% dedicated to big budget movies that could carry the cost of a film print. And the exhibitor can now uh, almost program, if you will, what his offer may be. And I, have a, I have a question. Is there, is there a context in which the day and date all platforms model works? I mean, I know Cubans all about that. Or do you still think it's micro windowing? No? I mean, I don't think it works now. Uh, Not right, ever, it, ever it, is. It, it I mean, doesn't, that's but like, I mean, is it the type of, is it again down to cost? So it's real world the movie, No, it's, 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 it's down to margin which right. is balancing revenue and cost. Right. They tend to want to think through things in a different way, they have a different perspective. You know, we have to be incredibly responsive to find new models for things. And new models mean new risks. And I think the hardest part of all of this is getting everyone in the room at that little party I was talking about kind of comfortable with risk. So I'll, you know, we'll have amazing conversations with Carol Mendelson, who is the does 400 procedural shows, CSI. She's dying to do things so that the second on her CSI show you see a new piece of evidence, that evidence is on your iPad at that exact moment in time.